Hello everybody, hope you're doing really well. It's snowed. <laughs> I've come out. Gorgeous day today. Obviously what what more do you want really? I'm coming here to check out an incredible but tiny tiny little quarry site. I think you're gonna really like this one. And I think well trust me <laughs> you're gonna really like this one. because uh, like I said, this is one of them ones where it's not how big it is, it's about the context in which it's placed. Preservation, conservation. Let's go find this one out. Come on, let's do it. Look at that. Wow. See ya. Hollingbourne may be a sleepy village just outside of Maidstone, but what most people don't know is it holds a little gem of history, a lime kiln that was part of a fairly small chalk quarry site. The lime kiln itself stands to a height of four metres and has a complete draw arch and front wall in yellow stop brick and blue edging. Although hard to get the true scale due to the snow, it really is a long forgotten gem of this village's history. Originally, there would have been a further two more kilns in the area and a small building for the workers. But this fragment of history is all that remains and the only information I could find at time recording is that the site itself would date to around the early 19th century. But the whole area has been used for chalk mining for hundreds of years and it's a warren of dean holes and chalk pits. Regardless of all of this, it is a reminder of how the area played an important part in Kent's industrial past. Now it's hard to tell because at the moment you've got to sort of just put the incident into context. So. Obviously where we are, yeah, that's the road that splits up the, would have split up the two quarry sites, or the, the same quarry, but it would have split up into two. Now, if I take you around here, obviously this is where the kiln is itself. Now, you've had a look in, but we'll have one more look, I think. Let's uh, try and switch you around. So as you can see, there's a lot of graffiti in here, so people have been in here, but it's the significance of how rare this is. Now I can assure you that, uh, I can assure you this is genuinely sort of one of these really rare gems of Kent history. People have been doing God knows what down here, you know. No idea. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? And then look, you might have seen this. This is an incredible bit of detailing. I don't really want to, it's too much away, but uh, look at that. Yeah, so you can see where the road just cuts it that car had just gone there and we're in this deep sort of depression but this kiln the scale of it's huge absolutely huge yeah wow Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you up to the top so you can see where they were mining. Pretty cool, right? Let's go have a look. Okay, so we're... Uh Right in the centre of the main quarrying complex, and it's uh, quite incredible, really, because you've got what would have.
been right beneath me, this hive of industry for a short, short point. And uh, yeah, how incredible. So you've got to look behind me. Oh, this chalk turned into lime. Look at that. And it follows this ridge line, which is like a bowl basin almost. And uh, it's absolutely remarkable. The scale of this is truly incredible. Tilt you up a little bit. There you go. To see this remarkable, absolutely remarkable chalk. That's totally incredible, really good. Oh, what a day today to pick. I had to, like I said, I had to get out. Couldn't stay indoors any longer. Had to do it safely as well, so. Yeah, wow, look at that. Absolutely incredible. So I'm now standing on the, the uh, most dangerous part of the structure. Uh, and it is, it's dangerous because it's in the snow, more importantly. Whoa, feet uh, just sunk, that's not good. Um, so behind me, <clears throat> looking down, it's very hard to sort of tell, but uh, you've got, oh, looking down, that's where I was. So I'm currently, literally now, you've got to imagine, I'm on top of the kiln and uh, somebody's, Ring, rung off this, fenced off this bit for a very good reason. Now at first, you'd think there might be a Dane hole or a Dean hole, but I can assure you that I'm pretty sure is part of the chimney for the furnace where the kiln is because, because we're standing right on top of the kiln and it is snowing, it's very hard to make out, but this must be the chimney for what the kiln would have been where we're standing on top of the kiln site because the kiln site here is an amalgam of two different types of kilns or was originally uh, and this must be because it's weird you sort of think to yourself oh it looks like a looks like a dean hole or a dane hole and it does go down quite deep but from from what I'm assuming it looks like it could just be part of the chimney vent for where the kiln was coming up because of how high we are up looking down I can't really go too far close to the edge because I don't actually know where the edge is but down there is where the kiln is so uh yeah standing standing on top of the kiln and good job actually somebody had uh, good job somebody's actually marked this out so uh otherwise you know then not crazy Oh, let's turn you around. Okay. Look at that. Amazing bit of history though. So cool. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm now standing on the opposite quarry side, which is where the road divides. There's nothing here anymore which is to be expected, but what you can see is the original outline of the ditch that would have been the quarry face or part of the quarry network that would have stretched out even further. It's quite incredible to think, really. But yeah, there you go. Like I said, not much here, but great to understand that they're put into context for you so yeah take one more look at it this is the other side of the quarry like I said it was because of how old it was and because of how it's short shelf life try saying that that really there's nothing here anymore <clears throat> right let's go
So, just there, they're uh, Lion Kiln Cottages and Lion Kiln House, it's called, actually. you can There's a sign that actually says it. And I think that, that was, those were the actual houses used for the workers that were literally opposite. How crazy is that? So, yeah, look, Lion Kiln Cottages. How cool. Nice little bit of ending of detail. There you go. See? So, so finally, Brilliant. we're at the road, which is the thing that splits up the two original quarries, the main quarry being on that side, and the tinier one being on this side of the road. But the fact is that road would have still been here, I'm trying to get in some better light, sorry about that. Uh, the fact of the matter is that the road still would have originally been here, cutting through that both sides of that quarry. All this amazing amount of chalk that's here, because what people seem to don't, people seem to forget is that all around this area, it's got the most amount of Dean holes slash Dane holes in all of Kent. Literally, every other, the further you go up to the top, Vollenborn, the, the uh, more Dane holes or Dean holes you discover. Quite incredible, really. But yeah, it's amazing to sort of know that this whole area was always used for sort of some form of chalk mining or quarrying. Absolutely so amazing. What a better way to end the video than standing behind the final little quarry pit it was really, uh, which is just here, if you can see that. See the whole ridge line, it's very small here, and in fact, there's a, I'll show you this, because you know, you might like it. Might be a nice little way to end the video, so just here. I'll, in fact, I'll flip you around. So around here, there's a wonderful little abandoned shed. Trust me, there's nothing much in it. I'll quickly sort of show you, really, there's literally nothing in it. Uh, just a couple of doors and no dead bodies, unfortunately, everybody. And loads of beer cans, but we're in the final little quarry, which would have been the first little pit you would have come up to. Yeah. And that's it. What an amazing little trip out in the snow. And again, like I said, you know, it's great that when an opportunity like this comes about that you should oh you should take it uh yeah fantastic right any more words of phoenix history i'll see y'all very soon take care for now everybody and bye oh feel free to spread the word click the notification bell you know all that sort of stuff let's do this okay bye